Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Bug Nice bringing you a quick review of the Mini Mates Thunderbolts box set. Let's do it. Man, I used to play the trap spot, propped on the block like I was part of the backdrop. Now it's scale, props, effects, and backdrops. The right lighting, you never catch me biting. Say you make it look so real when you pose the biggest fighting. I caught lightning, stuck it in the detour. Replicate epic scenes from the pre war. Compose pieces with artists that span the globe. Here's some foes fighting in the picture perfect pose. Insert the comic book, cut out to shoot a show. Oh, you ain't know? Yo, everybody know me. I made nerds. Cool, cooler like my man Zobie Took the everyday display, gave it a spark Welcome to Articulated Comic Book Art That's crispy Alright, taking a quick look at the package in here We got a picture of each of the characters on the side On both sides actually uh, The front of the clamshell is open So you can see each of the characters Punisher, Deadpool, Red Hulk, Elektra Mini Mates logo, Thunderbolts logo Got a picture of them on the back here uh, this is four of the five characters from this team. This is a four pack. I uh, just want to say thanks again to Zach Oat for making this review possible. Let's open this bad boy and see what these guys are. So like. there's a little insert that comes in. Uh, pretty much all of the items that you get from Diamond Select, they have a little insert showing you a uh, current product and I guess things that are uh, gonna come out soon. So we don't need that. And here's how they look in the clamshell. Bunch of accessories: two guns for Punisher, four swords, three guns for Deadpool. I guess you could probably use the same guns for Punisher too. Uh, the handguns, maybe one of those handguns belong to Punisher. I don't know. Uh, two size for Electra, some extra hair and some uh, ungloved hands for Electra. Maybe those hands are for Hulk. I'm not sure because I believe the Hulk breaks down to a regular General Ross. You see the head there too. So, all right, let's get these guys out so real quick. Just looking at each character individually, show you what each one can do uh, as far as swapping and uh, accessories go. Uh, you see him rocking the red skull insignia, not red skull the character, but uh, you know his uh, skull happens to be red when he's running around with this team. That seems to be a color theme. Um, this jacket is removable. It has a break on both sides of the arm, so it can actually just slip off. So that was cool. Um, on all mini mates, the heads can come off, the hair can come off. They can uh, separate here at the uh, waist. The feet can come off. So a lot of options for swapping parts and doing different things, doing a ungloved hand and a glove hand that comes off. The head is on pretty much what you would consider a ball joint. This is the standard articulation for these. The arms go up about that far, but they can rotate all the way around. You get a single jointed elbow. You get rotation at the wrist, no hinge, rotation at the waist. Same thing on both sides with the arms. The legs can go all the way up. That foot just came off. Uh, can go all the way back single jointed knee and rotation here at what would be the ankle that is the standard articulation uh, for mini mates and his guns are removable you can take them in and out of the holsters unfortunately the holsters are not removable but look at that you got another option here and you can have them as the classic Punisher with the white very cool so that's Punisher got Deadpool here next same articulation, uh, just a couple of little differences. These little shin guards here are all one piece, so when you pull off the, the foot, that comes off as well. Unfortunately, on Deadpool, it doesn't look like the uh, hand can be rotated. This is all one piece here, too, with the uh, wrist guard. Um, this seems like a separate piece, the holster, but I don't think you can get it off. I'm not 100% sure. Actually, maybe you can. Yeah, you can actually get it off if you take off the head. Uh, this is really cool. You can take off the mask and you got the unmasked Deadpool here. Very, very cool. Uh, same articulation. He has a holster there. This holster is not removable, but you can unholster and holster his gun. So that's Deadpool. Looking at Red Hulk next. Pretty much the same articulation, uh, but some little surprises on Red Hulk. Uh, it's not really at the foot, it's more like at the shin where it uh, separates here. This one's a little harder. So that does come off there. And uh, he actually comes completely apart. I'm going to show you this. So I just hurt the hell out of myself and bloodied my thumb trying to get these parts off. But the Red Hulk, the General Ross, he breaks all the way down. Uh, these are the extra parts. His uh, upper torso comes off similar to um, Punisher's jacket. 
uh, the upper thighs there's some extra girth on the upper thighs that comes off the feet come off uh, the upper shoulders has some extra girth and that comes off and then the uh, hand forearm area comes off there and you can plug in um, and underneath is this uh, this area and then you can plug in the, the hands um, the regular hands the extra hands that were in the set right there so this is cool then he has them with uh, some chest showing and less chest showing here so quite a few options for General Ross and I thought that was really really dope looking at Electra here so both the size and the swords and everything can go into her hands uh, snugly same articulation uh, and then you have the option to take off that and just add on her hair without the hat so that looks cool that's pretty much about all she can do in terms of swapping with this particular set because I mean the more mini mates you get the more options obviously you have for swapping different things and doing different things I'm pretty sure I could pop off these hands and have her ungloved if I wanted to as well as far as this set goes so here is all four figures together they look great they look uniform uh, like I previously mentioned, you know, you can use the different accessories for the different figures if you wanted to give Deadpool, Punishers, Shotgun, or um, switch the handguns from the two of them. They actually share the handgun. There's two uh, pistols that can be holstered on either side of Punisher, and there's one that can be holstered for Deadpool, and then I guess you could switch the size and the longer swords between uh, Deadpool and Elektra. So, like I said, a lot of options for swapping. The fun factor for mini mates is through the roof, and I believe that's why they have seen somewhat of a resurgence in the ACBA Facebook group and as far as displaying goes. And this is one of the reasons why I will be uh, reviewing a few mini mate sets over the next couple of weeks because they are very, very popular as far as articulated comic book art goes right now. And that's basically why I'm doing reviews in general, just to kind of uh bring some more attention to the displaying community and you know let people know what's hot this set has actually been out already for a while i'm pretty sure that shardimus already reviewed it but like i said mini mates right now are are hot they are really really popular right now as far as displaying goes I mentioned that i didn't think that deadpool's uh wrist or hand could rotate but it does the entire hand and wrist guard is like one piece and it can pop off there and it does rotate so all mini mates for the most part uh, they detach at the hair uh, at the head and the neck um, the shoulder the elbow the wrist the waist and the feet detach and I believe you could detach the legs at some point too so the um, options for swapping and interchange abilities are just almost limitless almost endless I mean and with the amount of characters that Mini Mates has given us over the years, it's it's just it's crazy. I mean, so many characters, so many costumes, it's unbelievable. They have any other toy line beat as far as giving you comic accurate uh, figures and giving you an abundance of these figures. And I think that's why they have been so popular over the over the years and have continued to to go strong and the price point is good and you're getting a lot for for your money as far as um, accessories and and you know that the opportunity to swap parts like I like I keep saying so that's what it is what I recommend this set absolutely it's a great set it's a fun set it's comic accurate uh, everything looks clean they look great together it's it's definitely a good buy all right I'll talk to y'all soon peace crispy.